Tied by Chicago University Records from Nigerian Bloggers. Presenting who begs U.S. courts. Hmm. This one, Strongo. A report recently obtained by Newsmen has shown how President Bola Tinubu has allegedly appealed to a United States, the U.S. court, to hide his Chicago State University record from Nigerian bloggers. The Nigerian leader was afraid that reporters would use the record on the said certificate to tarnish his reputation, the, the report said. According to People's Gazette, Tinubu, whose presidential victory is being challenged at the presidential election petition tribunal, is afraid his university record, when made available to the public, would be further used to weaken his reputation. The Nigerian president opposed an application for an order to direct discovery of his University of uh, Chicago State University credentials, noting that previous records the school released in 2022 to Nigerian lawyer Mike Hunero were used as weapons by bloggers to attack his character. If the purpose of the application is to uncover opposition research or provide fodder for news bloggers, now it is not proper. Tenable said through his team of attorneys led by Uluwale Falobi and Chicago based Chas on August 23rd. Niger News understand that the statement credited to Tinubu through his lawyers was a response to the application filed by a candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the February 25th presidential election in Nigeria. In politics, Opposition research, also called opposition research, is the practice of collecting information. It's called OPPO research, okay? is a practice of collecting information on a, a political opponent or other adversary that can be used to discredit or otherwise weaken them. Tinubu's lawyer explained in the same document. This news platform reported earlier that Atiku has asked the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois to subpoena the Chicago State University into releasing Tenable's records to clarify glaring inconsistencies in his gender, graduation date, his age, and so on. But the president is fighting desperately to block the application. While responding to a previous subpoena in 2022, the Chicago State in, uh, University had provided a bull with records that shows a certain Bola born March 29, 1954, who attended the school at the same period, as Tinubu claimed in the 1960s was a female. He also recently expunged his primary and secondary education from his records after it was discovered that the primary and secondary schools he listed under oath in his 1999 run for Lagos governor did not exist anywhere in Nigeria. Atiku believed that believed the requested record would show which early and high school a paper Stenobu submitted to Chicago State University before he was admitted to study there. The Chicago State University's response was first published on independent journalist uh, David Wanda's website in 2022, where bloggers picked it up and circulated it to almost every Nigerian. The gender controversy dominated social platforms like Twitter, where the majority questioned the eligibility of the former governor of Lagos State to run for the presidency and raised concerns about the allegation of perjury. Those proceedings center around a self-proclaimed Nigerian public interest. Liti Gato, who utilized a Chicago love firm to 
unilaterally without court approval issued a subpoena to Chicago State University to text the truth and veracity of Mr. Tinubu's assumptions that he attended various educational institutions located in Chicago land area, said the, the president's lawyers. Chicago State University then purportedly provided documents in response. Those documents have apparently been utilized by the public interest litigation and bloggers to attack President Tinubu's character. The lawyers pointed out, fearing the same fate awaits the release of the Nigerian leader's record to article. The PDP presidential candidate said he intends to use findings from Chicago State University to strengthen its argument at the presidential election petition tribunal in Nigeria that Bola's declaration as president by INEC should be nullified based on deeming allegations of perjury, narcotics, dealings, electoral fraud, and so on. Hmm. So, why would they use it against him if the if the, the the credentials are correct? So there is to me there is nothing to be afraid of if you are the owner of those certificates. You can let it fly anywhere. You can boast of it. It's your certificate. Nothing happens. No one will tend using it against you because it's your certificate. That is how I see it. Saying that that. Nigerians will use it against him. I don't see any sense in that anyway. Well, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.